The other day, I challenged myself to take a seat and jot down every single thing I do in PvP that I've learned over the years helping me improve in the Crucible. Turns out when you start writing these down, one concept leads to the next and it actually feels like the list can be endless. So what I've done is laid out the first 20 that came to my mind. I usually have a tendency of going way too in depth. So today we'll actually be testing out a brand new style where I just blitz through them. Tip number one. When you see a titan behind their barricade, you can often bait them by running at it and then just backsliding. When you do this, you'll want your shotgun ready in case they slide towards you early, but otherwise they typically react late and I finish them from a distance. Number two, looking down can make it a lot harder for your opponent to hit a headshot, in particular while they're sniping. So if you're disengaging from a fight, it's always a good idea to look down while you slide or run away. Additionally, if I'm sliding across a lane that I'm really worried about, well then I guess first of all maybe I shouldn't be sliding across, but let's say I am, I can look away and down while I slide. I know some of these types are much easier on mouse and keyboard versus a controller out of the ones that I've written down, but there's a lot of them that apply to both. Tip number three, whenever I review community gameplay, the number one thing that people are struggling with is radar management. In a future video, I'll be covering getting to know all of the different functions of the radar, but for today, a tip is that I find myself often checking it right before I aim down sights on my weapon. For example, if I'm about to slide around a corner to engage someone, I tend to quickly confirm the radar is still telling me what it was a moment ago because I'm likely about to be aiming down my sights for a little while. Tip number four. Hip firing your shotgun seems obvious, but a lot of people still ADS their shotgun when really close. If someone is that adjacent to you, hip firing has many benefits. Your FOV won't shrink, so you'll see them a lot sooner on your screen. Your peripheral vision can still see what's happening on the radar. The crosshair doesn't disappear, so you have that big circle to help you hit your target more efficiently. On the flip side, if you think someone is about to slide into you, sometimes the bot shotty technique is actually great. By not doing any fancy movements, your brain can focus on one thing and one thing only, which is to react as fast as possible when your target comes onto screen so you can shoot them. Number five, outside of organized scrims, in my opinion, Rumble is the fastest way to improve overall Crucible skill. It forces constant radar management and handling frantic situations. Most of your time should be spent in there if you're playing alone. Tip number six, quick decision making is highly underrated in PvP. I know that sounds obvious, but I constantly see people hesitating to make a decision in fear of making the wrong one. Often a mediocre decision with confidence is far better than the best decision being made too late. Indecision will cripple your improvement, so you're a lot better off being confident first and then learning after. Number seven, for those wanting to learn Warlock, it's pretty commonly known that Dawnblade is extremely strong. Well, here's a trick with Icarus Dash. If you're a first timer hopping onto the character, that movement ability seems pretty decent, but if you actually hit your glide button instantly before activating the Icarus Dash, it goes a lot further and faster which can then lead to skating afterwards and truly get you going. Number 8. Speaking of Warlock movement, sorry to my console folks, but on PC if you bind your jump to your mouse wheel, you can actually zoom all of your glide activations off of a ramp and send yourself launching. This can be good for closing the gap, disengaging, or just giggles I suppose. For my controller family, please let others know in the comments if you found a method for this. Tip number 9. Peak shooting is a term tossed around a lot, but seldom do I see people executing it perfectly. Take a look at this example from Apathetic, a good friend of mine who also makes content on YouTube. His timing is impeccable and it all comes from deliberate practice. Go into a private match and do this with your favorite hand cannons for example, and then when you're in your next match of Crucible, focus on this every time you're near cover and keep the practicing to convert it into tangible success. Number 10. When looking for people to play with, there's a very special link that you can go to shown on screen. By joining the Castle Community Discord, you instantly double your game knowledge and thereby grow your KD. Okay fine, tip number 10. As you increase a particular stat on your character, we all know that it gets better. For example, we know that 5 mobility is faster than 4 mobility. It's important to know however that none of these are actually linear. Let's say I'm bumping my discipline up from tier 2 to tier 3, my cooldown will only be cut by 3 seconds, or in other words, it's only 4% faster charge rate. But then if I wanted to bump it from tier 3 to tier 4, that would actually cut 14 seconds which is 20% faster than one prior. On the higher end of the spectrum, let's look at Intellect. If you were to bump from 6 to 7, it would cut your super cooldown by 11 seconds. But then if you wanted to bump from 9 to 10, it will only cut that super cooldown by 4 seconds. 
Reddit posts out there have all of these timestamps in table formats that are super easy to look at. So I highly suggest you figure out what the optimal build for your character is to avoid having any diminishing returns across the board. Tip number 11, when you get your super, unless it's a tournament where it's crucial that you save it, use the damn thing. People continue to spec into intellect to shave off 5 seconds here, 5 seconds there, but then hang on to it forever. By reviewing VODs in my past, it's pretty clear that a lot of momentum can shift or double whenever a super is popped. So use it when you get it and start charging your second one. Number 12. Speaking of supers, A. You should try and pop them behind cover whenever possible. B. If you're chasing a kill, be sure not to overextend where you're going to end up trading your life anyways. C. It's completely okay if you don't get a kill with your super. Often you and your team can simply have a plan for what to do when you're going to pop it because the opponents are going to have a boner for killing you meaning your teammates can catch them off guard. Tip number 13. In trials, literally take 5 minutes in a private match before playing with your team to discuss a couple of lanes. A perfect example is here on Javelin. If the two of you plan this in a private match before jumping into the game mode, you could intentionally go to this staircase at the beginning of the round, both know that you're going to shoot the exact same enemy when they come around that corner across the way, and you'll often get the first pick. Tip number 14. Be the best damn cheerleader you could ever be. Okay, nice shot, Shadow. I think they're rotating around toilet. Come on, where's the double? Oh my god! Where's the triple? Let's go! You have no idea the impact that that can have on the whole team's performance. When your friend gets a snipe, I don't care if you didn't see it or if it was an AFK double body, you better be pumping their tires like never before and get that momentum going towards the next kill. Always compliment your teammates kills if you can. Number 15. I despise sword peeking and emoting for third person camera angles. Number 16. Reusing the same joke has proven to work 60% of the time every time. If any of this has been interesting or helpful, clicking that red button can be hugely supportive to the channel. Or if you just want to know more, because I've already written down at least 30 more tips just like these ones during the edit of this video. So I just need to know if this style of content is helpful or enjoyable for you guys. But let's jump back into it. I still hate the third person camera thing, but a respectable version of doing this is actually using your character abilities. Every time you pop a rift, place a shield, or even dodging into a corner, use that moment to observe what the other team is doing via that third person camera. Tip number 17. Be careful swapping your guns too quickly. A lot of mouse and keyboard players have this tendency, but in Destiny, if you do it too much, you can actually jam your gun like this. Like, I don't know about you guys, but I consistently do this all the time. So if you do this and then pull out your shotgun and try to shoot, it doesn't do anything. Like, I, I clicked my mouse button there. It just didn't shoot. It's a, it's a bug when doing this, and then you go to click your shotty and nothing happens. Tip number 18. When you're in a threes playlist, have a general team understanding of collapsing. There are many versions of this topic, but today I'm talking about the flanker. Say you're in trials and an opponent tries to flank you guys, you'd be surprised how often the three of you can instantly turn on that person and make them pay for their mistake. If it doesn't work, don't sweat it for even a moment, just go back to your original plan. Number 19. Enemy supers don't have to be scary. In fact, here are two ways for you to deal with that situation. First off, you can actually shut them down pretty quickly if you communicate and team shoot it. But second, I find a lot of success putting our team's entire focus on the other two opponents. Your team can often come out even by killing those other two opponents instead of failing to kill the super. That being said, I actually hope Bungie disables high energy fire someday in the Crucible because of things like powerful friends and radiant light. Tip number 20. If you're down and waiting for a res, be aware of what weapon you have on slot. Evaluate the situation as your teammate's going for your res, and if you think you're going to need your shotgun out to fire instantly, for example, you can switch to it before getting up. Okay, apparently I can't count, and there's a few more tips. Number 21. Destiny has interesting netcode. If you're intrigued in that topic, I'll link my entire video about it below, but some guns perform insanely better for me when I aim slightly ahead of my opponent. I know that sounds crazy because they basically all appear to be hitscan, but word on the street is D2's code is written to have extremely high velocity, almost like an infinite amount, but not necessarily an exact hitscan. Whether that's true or not, next time you're rocking, say, a 540 pulse, for example, do me a favor and aim a bee's dick ahead of where your opponent is moving and then tell me what you think. Tip number 22, Ascendant Nomad. 
Wait, I mean the two-second rule. This is a term he coined to try and give a tangible method of improvement to his audience. Hop into the crucible and try to never stay in one spot for more than a full two seconds. It may feel weird at first, but ultimately it encourages movement, which as I'm sure you've heard is at the top of the totem pole for skill gap when it comes to destiny. 23 wraps it up. Of course, my dad would be quoting Jim Carrey right now saying, look son, the number 23, it's everywhere. But here's my last tip for the day. If you're not the sniper on your team, leave them the special ammo if at all possible. In trials, for example, at the end of the round, make sure you call out where it is and that it's theirs for the taking. Scavenger is less efficient for them and their ability to always have ammo for getting a pick is an absolute priority. Let's call it there for today and seriously, thank you for watching. This is a brand new style for me and I'd love to make more videos on a ton of other quick tips that I have on my mind if you're interested. I hope you have a great rest of your day and on screen right now is a clickable thumbnail that'll lead you to another video talking about PVP improvement. Cheers.